that was for Miss Ruth, who was trying to teach me how to be on time. So, Ruthie, 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 I'm on time, honey. Where you at? Where you at, Miss Ruthie? Miss Ruthie, Ruthie, Ruthie. I said, where are you? Remember that, remember that show? Scooby Dooby Dooby, where are you? Scooby Dooby Dooby, Scooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Dooby Dooby. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Where's the. Okay. So. What mailbox is this? Why is it looking all crazy? Hmm. So I don't see it. But I guess that doesn't matter, baby. What the? Listen. I'm not trying to be playing. I'm not trying to be whoop whoop. Uh-uh. Okay, oh, what's up? Who is Shayla? Anyway, we're not about to be worried about that right now, or are we? We about to get over the line, get over the line. I'm trying to find y'all on here, too, because y'all know I can't see. Here's a lady tees things that bling. It's funny when I look up and it's my own stuff. Hey, who's here? Let me turn it off. Turn it off. The voice. We don't want the voice. We don't want the voice. Hey, who's in the chat? Say hello. Say hello. Whoever's in the chat, say hello. Hey, June. How are you, creative mom? I know, right? Finally, man. As soon as I hung up from y'all, I had to go run out. So, I had to get myself together and then run out. I had to run out, y'all. Let me see what happened. So, I ran out, and guess what? I literally, for real, for real, I was just sitting downstairs with my husband. Listen to me. Listen to me. I was just sitting downstairs with my husband, and I was like, guess what? I'm waiting on my new wig. I wish my new wig would come on, because I wanted to show it to everybody. Well, I'm sitting there waiting to the last possible minute. And what do I do? Um, I sit there and then we hear this knock on the door. And I jumped because we was both looking at TV, right? So I jumped. I went to the door and guess what it was? It was my wig, honey. It was my wig. And it was something else that I've been waiting for Etsy for forever in a couple of days. I'm telling you, I'm about sick of Etsy. They just take too long. You gotta read the you gotta read the descriptions though, because some people make stuff that they're make like some of the stuff that they're selling on Etsy is that it's their product and they're buying it when they're actually ordering it from China. So that really disturbs my soul. That's why some things take so long to get here because they really they don't have the stock on hand. They're ordering it from China. So. Anyway, that's what I have to say about that. So this is what I have been waiting for for a month. This is the other mold that I was waiting for. This is the coaster mold that I was waiting for. And I like it because you can design it. You can design it on these lines. So what I can do is put colors on these lines before I even pour the epoxy. Like I could put mica powder on there uh, before I even put the epoxy in there. So, I will be trying that one. I intend to anyway. I intend to put this in my little trashy can. And then, we go, this one came in the mail. Um, this one, the one I've been telling y'all about that I have been waiting for forever. This one came in the mail, um, I think it was Saturday. This one came in the mail, mail Saturday. And this is the one that they were saying was a woman's um, face on... Uh, Amazon. They said this is a woman. And I, me and Ronald were like, you lying. This is not a woman. Not a woman. This is straight up a man. Okay? So, 
we could just tell by the profile he looked like a dude. And then today, Rhonda was like, oh, look at this Adam's apple. How can that be a woman if that's an Adam's apple? I was like, can't nobody think about that but you. But we was cracking up. Anyway, so those are two molds, and I'll probably try them out tomorrow, darling. Well, I'm messing with the condiment side. Whew. That, that is a huge head. He probably going to use up all my epoxy. That head is bigger than all the rest of them. Dang. I was like, gosh, that joint, he ginormous. Anyway, hi to everyone here. June, I'm okay. I'm better now. I think, um, I think it was yes. was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday. Saturday was when, um, my eye has been messing up. This, this thing has been on my eye for 10 years. This has been on my eye for 10 years. And, um... No doctor seems to know what it is. They tested it for cancer. It was inconclusive um, when they did it 10 years ago. And um, they still don't know what it is. But on Sunday, it was it was hurting so bad. I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room because that's how bad it was hurting. But it wound up didn't go. But I think being in the sun has something to do with it, too. Because I was with one of my sisters, and we had a long drive. And I think this eye was exposed to the sun too long and I really think that's what happened to my eye. You ordered the other heads. Did you get them yet? And um, Creative Mom, you gotta tell me what your what your email came under because I cannot find it. I actually went and looked. I'm like, where is this email? I haven't seen it. So, if it's, is it under Creative Mom? If it's under another name? You don't have to put it on here. You can inbox me on Facebook if you have Facebook. My name on Facebook is Teresa Jeanette Scott. So you can inbox me on Facebook if you want to. And um, let me know what the uh, what your email is so I can go back and hunt for it. Because I don't know where it is. And I looked diligently. I really did. So um, have you used them yet, June? Have you used them? So I'm, I'm, I got my... Um, my phone right there so I can look more at you guys instead of me just always turning that way. So, I do want to try this other wig though, y'all. Y'all want me to try this other wig? I'm going to try it. Anyway. I'm going to try it. So, guess what? One of my friends... Oh, that felt like I was cutting it. One of my friends had um, messaged me the other day. And she... um. Her eye was all puffy like this, and her face was all puffy, and all this stuff was going on. Okay, I hope you remember. Now look how this look look at this packaging. Okay, I got this from um, Amazon. Look at this packaging. That's big. So this wig that I have on today. I got this in the mail what, yesterday, I think it was. Had to be, because I didn't wear it Saturday. So I got this in the mail yesterday, darlings. It's so, this wig is so soft. When I tell you this wig is soft, it is so soft. And it looks like natural hair. But it's this is so soft. There's not much shedding on it either. It's so, oh my gosh, this wig is so soft. I love it. And I love the color. You know, guys, because I'm really tired of wearing black hair. And someone was asking me, am I going to go get my hair braided? Nope. I'm not getting my hair braided because I can't snatch my hair off if it, if it gets hot. I can't. I can't snatch my own hair off, but I can show snatch off a wig, auntie. I can snatch off a wig, man. I've been known to do so. Y'all, look at this here. This is 1B30. And look at this here. This is a braid wig. You have a braid wig. Now, my other braid wig that y'all see me wearing, I got that from Amazon as well. But, baby, I treated myself to this because guess what? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to party like it's my birthday. 
the 21st of April. All right, I'll check it out. I might have deleted it. I don't know. If I did, it was by accident because I didn't know what it was. But I'll go check it out, though, baby. Well, y'all, my birthday is Thursday. My birthday is Thursday, huh, tees? And I will definitely, definitely, definitely... Mm, mm, thank you, June. I will definitely be wearing one of these on my birthday. So this is the 1B30 braid, and it curls at the end. My husband likes curly hair. And I like curly hair as well. I was thinking about getting some other type of hair and doing that. This is one particular hairstyle my husband really loves. Look at this. Look, it has this part. It's a side part. Uh-huh. Got the little baby hairs on it. Mm-hmm. Little baby hairs. And the braids, they look really nice. They look really nice. Look, look at the bottom. Ooh, honey. Ooh, look at that. Don't that look nice? She looks really nice. Early happy birthday. Thank you, June. Look at that. Look at that. That's long, though. So y'all know I'm going to be clip, clip, clipping along. I don't know how to do that, though, because this got curls on it. So I might not be clipping too merch. Yeah, I said too merch. Okay, I'm trying to see how they put these curls on it. They add it. Hey, okay, that's a new trick. Okay, so y'all want to see me put it on? No, I'm not going to let y'all see me put it on. Don't. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm going to get out the camera space, though. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to show you. So y'all can enjoy my beautiful flowers while I take this one off <laughs> and put this one on. And we're going to see, honey. That's a little, um, I better not be showing myself on these other cameras. That's a little headband on the inside of it, too. I don't know how to use it, though. I don't know. They got me over there anyway, showing myself. Let me see. But I just wanted to show y'all a little side side. Let's see. I don't even know how that looks. Turn back around. So, it's the part right here. And it's the hair right here. And it's a lace front rig. That's why y'all see this little piece right there. I just got to get somebody to cut it for me. Probably Rhonda, but that's cute, right? That's cute, right? <laughs> that's cute. Stop. Stop. Y'all know this is cute. Hi, Victoria. Thank you. You said, uh, good evening. Happy birthday. Love the wig. Love the wig. That's my thing. Also, never order any from. Why? I or That's where mine's come from. My wigs come from Amazon. Why you don't want me to order from Amazon? What they do? They shady. But these, this is pretty. It's lightweight. It has beautiful curls. If I would go to the shop and get my hair done like this, I would have my curls on it just like this. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's going to save me. Because if I go to the shop and I get hot, you know, during the summer or the spring, and I, to get, I can't take my own hair out. But I could, I could pull this off in a hot minute. Yes, ma'am. In a quick minute, I can pull this off. So, I actually like this. Look at this. Look at the the details. I like the details. That's really cute. Now, see, had I gone to the shop to get my hair done, though, I would not have done it like this. It would have been just been individuals, actually. My kid's birthday this month. My son is today. Oh, happy birthday to your son and your grandson, 11, and my oldest daughter, is two, uh, 12 and youngest daughter is 13. May babies. That's a lot of May babies. You know what, Victoria? And I have seen a couple of reviews where women have gotten wigs and their wigs were too big because they had small heads or whatever. And they got the wigs and it was too big and they didn't like it. 
I've all, also seen reviews where people have gotten wigs and it was just a whole mess. It was just a whole mess. But I was like, mm, whatever, I'm going to try it. I, I, if it wasn't going to like it, I was going to send it back. But so far, I like it. And this is one I can keep on for like a couple of days if I want to. But, you know, I like to switch things up. So I might be uh, having a, a, a braid wig on one day. And then the next day, I might be having on that one I just took off. So it all depends, honey, honey. It all depends on what mood I'm in. Because I really don't like that glue. And the glue doesn't like me because it burns my skin. And I started getting all these sca scabs and scales up on my skin. And I can't do that. I got enough going on with this lupus where I got to deal with that too. So I could eliminate something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And this is easy on. And yesterday I got a relaxer in my hair. So now my edges are laying down. So I can lay my edges down and they won't be looking like they're 57 years old. Because, you know, that's how old I'll be on Thursday. 57. So, this is a nice color. I don't know if my husband is on, but, um, so I really like this, though. I love the detail. I really do. I love the detail. So, so far, so good. No complaints, no complaints, no complaints. I do have to get somebody to cut that off for me, though. You know what I mean? So, I'm still a little bit hot, so what I'm going to do is, eh, I might as well leave it on. It's on. It's on. It's on. So, I can do that. Wait a minute. So... As you guys remember, I was trying to do the uh, broadcast the other night, trying to make the centerpieces, and the rain decided it didn't want me to do it, so I had to stop. But what I did, excuse me, was with these trays, with this, y'all remember these trays from the Dollar Tree? Y'all remember these trays from the Dollar Tree, these silver trays? So I don't see them at the Dollar Tree anymore. Can you guys please hit like as you are coming in, please? And thank you. Oh, so I gotta tell y'all. I got a notice from YouTube. Which I already knew it, but they gave me a notice about uh monetization, honey. They said you have reached 4,000 plus views. And now you're eligible to sign up. Um, sign up for monetization. I was like, I'm already signed up. What you talking about? They said, well, if you already signed up, don't worry about it. It's T H E R E S A J E A N E T T E Scott. That is Jeanette Scott. That is my name on Facebook. So. As you can see, when I turn it over, you can tell that I already glued these down. And I used um, this candle, stick, this candle holder, and I put that down with E6000. And I put this votive thing on top of the uh, candle holder with E6000. Because you want this to last. It doesn't have to be just a Mother's Day um, flower arrangement. It could be something that can last them for a long time. Because you can buy flowers. Anybody can buy flowers. But the flowers only last for so long. And then you'll be like, oh, I spent my money and the flowers ain't even last. You know, things don't even last like they used to anymore. So, this is what we want to work on today. And what I promise you, it's so humid. It's so muggy here in Philadelphia now. I went out earlier and I came right back in. I went out and I came back in. Now, you can also consider using these uh, candlesticks, candlestick holders for a centerpiece because you can actually take one of these green things here and put it on top of here and make you a floral arrangement on there if you wanted to do that. You can paint this a different color. You can paint it black, silver, gold, any color that you would like to do it, actually, and then make you a centerpiece with that. Now, you guys are not going to believe this, but, and I say this all the time, I never can find stuff in this darn room because it's so small. Yet, I'm adding to it every day, right? Every day. I was going to try to show you, but I need Rhonda. Actually, what you can do is you can even use this. Now this is a round, this is a floral round too. 
So you can put this round one on here and make your flowers. Nobody will know the difference. You're just going to be putting your flowers on here however you want to do it. Now, you might say, well, that's too low, yada, 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 yada. You just start cutting your stem a little bit lower and then just sticking it in there. It's just, and it's at your discretion however you want to do it. I'm trying to find one that's already, oh, that's not, I don't want to mess this up. You just cut it with your wire cutters. And because this is very thin, you don't want your um, stem to be that long. So, see, you can put that in there and you can start making your flowers on here. Which is more, to me, is better because it's shorter and it's quicker. So you can put your flowers, imagine putting your flowers all the way around here, how pretty that would be. Right? Let's see what's going on with that. Okay, so, look at that. That would be a beautiful flower arrangement. Actually, and I think I'm going to use that for this. I hadn't even considered that until just now, but that's a good thing right there. However, we still have to work on this because Mother's Day is coming and I have to get this for my mother-in-law. I have to. She's such a beautiful soul. Ever since I married my husband, ever since I married my husband, she has never, ever... I have never heard her say anything disparaging about me. I've never heard anybody else say that she said anything disparaging about me. Well, how could she? I'm Lady T. <laughs> how could she, go? I'm Lady T. Don't get it twisted. Butter rum. She had many occasions to come get me if she if jack me up. Because I was jacked up, boo. She had many occasions to come and get me about her son. But my husband wasn't, my husband is not the kind of man that runs to his mama to fight his battles. He never did that. I've never known, we've been married for 22 years and I've never known, well, 21, going on 22, I've never known him to call his mother doing any type of argument we've had. He's never called his mother. He never called his father. He never called anyone to my knowledge. Um, and the only time they knew anything that was going on is because I spilled the beans. That was the only time they knew anything was going on because I spilled the beans. So, I'm just saying that you have to give honor to whom honor is due. And my mother-in-law is due honor because she has been precious in my life. And since my parents are dead... My mom died two days after my birthday, 10 years ago. Nine years ago, I think. Nine years ago. And one of my sisters passed away the day after my birthday, 10 years ago. So my mother and sister, my, my mother and one of my sisters died a year apart. Almost to the day. I was telling somebody today that, hey, you see my new wiggle? It's itching. I've got to take it off. So now, we have an assortment of flowers. I'm not a florist, so I really don't know how flowers are supposed to go. So I just basically just go with how I'm feeling because I really don't know how to go. I think when I was doing it the other night, I actually had started out with these. However, it's a new day, so I'm going to try something different. I actually like these lilies. I love these lilies. I was going to go to the store today to get some, and then I was just like, you know what? I just don't feel like it. So, I made a quick run and came right back in the house real quickly. Real quickly. Everybody know me. If I if I leave out and I come back in the house quick, they know I'm not feeling well. They expect me to come in the door with bags and bags from the Dollar Tree. And then when I don't do it, they be looking at me all crazy like, mm -mm, what she doing here? With me? She don't have bags? They be trying to cap on me, but that ain't funny. They be trying it. They be trying it. So, I don't know. Do I want to start with these? 
Oh, you kind of flat, boo. Uh uh, we gotta perk you up, honey. You a little too flat. Uh uh, y'all look what? What? What big old other ones with you guys? Y'all want me to use you? Just you know, that's why you act like that. Don't be acting like that, child. You got to be on the on the centerpiece. Don't be playing with me. There you go, boo. But stand up straight. There you go. There. See, stand straight. That's not that crazy. Nobody feel like playing. So we have purple and pink. Somebody said, what is up with you in this pink? And I don't know because I'm not a pink freak. A pink freak. I really don't do pink. But baby, it's something about these here flowers. They got my pink emotions flying around here. So, what I try to do on one side, I try to mimic on the other side. Just to be cohesive. 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 Just don't pay me any mind, people, because I'm tired. Look how pretty that looks. Then you want to get flowers that you could actually bunch together to take up space. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to you don't want to put so many flowers in there that it just looks overcrowded. But put them in there in such a way that they can cover up the green spots. You see what I'm saying? If you got these flowers in here and they can cover up the green, you don't have to put that much down here and around because we don't want it to look ah, what's the word I'm looking for trashy crowded too much <laughs> y'all if you can't laugh with me then laugh at me it's okay I can't hear you if you can't laugh with me laugh at me because I can't hear you <laughs> so it doesn't really matter you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. See, this is what, look how big that is. Look how big that is. You don't have to even worry about the green over here as much. The other night when I was doing it, when the, when the storm was, and I finished it, I finished it off the camera because you remember I shut it off because the storm was just messing up my video, my live. So... When I went back and I looked at it, I was like, well, dang, that was just too many flowers. It really was. But, um, y'all remember back in the day, if anybody's in my age group on here, y'all remember back in the day, and the older folks used to say, but, um, they used to say that all the time, but, um, but, um. Yes, I catch myself saying that sometimes. A lot, though, actually. I feel like butter rum. I sound like I'm saying butter rum. Butter rum is what it sounds like I'm saying. Butter rum. Now, before you do this, you might want to get your flowers together and coordinate the colors. So that way you know you don't have to be picking around, trying to figure out what you're doing. Because your, your flowers will be all together. And then all you do is pick from the menagerie of flowers that you may have. Yes, darling. This one fell. Okay. So, I see we have a multitude of these flowers and we only have uno, dos, tres of these left. So now we have to put them accordingly because again I'm trying to have one side mimic the other side oh we have quattro so that side this side has two and a one and I still need two more I need three altogether for the other side so I don't have it for the other side so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it do what it do Okay. 
So I'm going to take, I'm going to turn this around. Turn the beat around. I don't know if I'm going to leave these in here though. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So I'm coming to this other side and I'm going to chop these stems up. And I'm just going to do what I did with the other ones. It's the back side, so you really don't need to have anything back here. But she might want to have a different look. You know what I mean? So I'll put this right here in the middle. And you see how it's covering up a lot of that green? And that's just what I wanted to do. Because the more flowers that you have that cover up the green, the less flowers you have to use. And I did not see that the other night until I finished the video and I took it off. And I was like... Yo, that's too many flowers on there. Take some of that stuff off. So, that's what I did. So, thank you, Thunderstorm, for messing up my video. I mean, my live broadcast. Thank you. Put one on this side. And put one on this side. I know y'all think this lady is something wrong. There's nothing wrong with me. This is who I am. And that's who I forever will be. And I will love you. Don't do it, Teresa Scott. Don't do it. You see what I mean? These flowers are making enough room. Because I promise you, the other night, that flower, when I turned off that video camera and I looked at those flowers... I was like, yo, that's just too much. You don't want to overwhelm the person with the flowers. They need to like it. You see what I mean? And these big flower leaves are really taking up a lot of space, which is cool. Because the other night that I was running out of flowers because I had so many of them up here. You know what I mean? It was just, it was way too much. So now... We're at the side. Again, you got these big flowers. I'm going to push this one right in here. They're all in the same flower, I mean color category, so it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to do matchy-matchy anyway. So now we have this one. And I'm just going to go on the other side. Let me see what you guys are talking about. Hey, Shawana. Shawana. And we're going to do it like that. You see? You see how it's taking up much of the green? You just want it to be able to take up the green. You don't want it to be gaudy. You really don't want it to be gaudy. I'm not liking these, right? I'm not liking these because they just look folded up. So, what flower should I put in here in this, instead of those pink ones? Because those pink ones, they just not, they're not doing me right. They're not, they're not doing me right at all. Let me just use these up. Oh, wait a minute. This should have been the back. No, this should have been the front. Because I got this little thing right here to fill. Oh, Miss Teresa, you're such a goofball. So, bingo. Oh, I, I should have brought my things up here. My husband bought me some from um some birthday gifts, y'all. Y'all should see what he got me. He got me the cutest little thing. I wasn't expecting that from him, but he got me the cutest little thing for my birthday. Cause you know my birthday is Thursday, and he just got me some things. They so cute. He got me a keychain. He got me a um a little wine glass. It's so cute. He got me a keychain, a wine glass, a pillow, and all of this stuff says love. And all has red and white and black. It's love. So he bought me a keychain. He bought me a, a, a wine glass. It's so cute. He bought me a pillowcase. That's three. Pillowcase. Oh, he bought me a wind up um box. He bought me a wind up um box. It's not a jewelry box. It's just a little wind up box. It's so cute. And it's, it's saying, um, what does it say on the girl? Um, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. It says, you are my sunshine on there. It is so cute. 
it's so little like this, but it's a big enough for me to set it on my dresser so I can look at it. Be like, oh, he got it for my birthday. So yes, hunty, he did that. So it was the music box, the cup, the keychain, the pillow. Oh, and this flower. Oh my God, you gotta see this glass flower that he got me. You gotta see this glass flower that he got me. This glass flower is beautiful. Now the glass flower is gonna have to sit. I'm gonna have to sit that up somewhere because my cat is ridiculous. So I can't sit it anywhere that my cat can get to it. I probably have to bring it in here in my craft room and set it on one of my shelves. Because I'm in my craft room probably more than I'm in my bedroom. So I could bring that in here. And I can look at it in here because if my cat break it, then she's going to be homeless again. This time it's going to be um, involuntarily. She's going to be homeless involuntarily. Now she went homeless before because she decided to run out. But this time I'm going to put her out. How about that? Because my cat's bad. Let me tell you what my cat did, y'all. Y'all ready for a cat story? Let me tell you what my cat did. So, I got a new aid, right? Rhonda's still here, but she my husband aid. So I got a new aid, right? And in the very chair that I'm sitting in right now, when I go to bed at night, my cat comes in here and she thinks this is her chair. I told you I think she wants to be a crafter. Anywho, the lady came in here because she, wa she was uh, wanting to get some air or whatever. I told her to come in here and um, sit in my chair. Oh, because the fan was on here. All of a sudden, I hear this noise. I'm like, what's wrong? What is going on? She said, your cat won't let me sit down. I said, what you just said? She said, my cat won't let, your cat won't let me sit down. The cat had done hissed at her and tried to scratch her and would not let her sit in my chair. Now, mind you, this is my chair in my office. And she decided that she don't want that lady to sit in my chair because it's her chair. Hey, Minda, 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 Minda. So this is this is a, this is a true story. I really should send it to somebody so I can get paid because the antics of my cat is I can't I don't understand. She's my cat. I just don't know who she thinks she is. So she done chased the girl out the room. She done chased the girl out the room and wouldn't let her sit in my chair. I said the nerve. I mean the unmitigated gall. I don't know who she thinks she is, but baby, when I tell you, she would not let that woman sit in my chair. Trust me and believe me, she would not let that lady sit in my chair. The lady came running out the craft room. She was like, Miss Teresa, I was like, what's up? She said, the cat won't let me sit in your chair. I said, oh... Then you can sit right here. She actually was coming to get the chair out of my office so she could put the relaxer in my hair. That's really what she came in here for. But Miss Kitty said, girl, you is not getting this chair. And she did not let that girl near my chair. She was like, Shh. and you can hear her from the other room. That's how bad my cat is. She bad. You can hear her from the other room. Get ready to attack this lady. Honey. She about to be adopted out. Because she's crazy. Something wrong with that cat. And she acting like she trying me. Like she want me to kick her out or something. But I bet you her little butt was scared when she ran away. And she came back. And she was scared. She not an outside cat. But she keep playing with me, she gonna be outside. Huh. Nobody tell her to act like that. It's my chair. And she gonna chase her. <laughs> she didn't chase the lady out the room. Oh, 
gosh. My cat is the worst. She is the worst. She just, she be playing people. And as long as people act like they scared of her, she keep right on doing it too. She don't care. She like, oh, you scared of me? Okay. That's just how she be. Oh, oh, you scared of me, huh? Okay. And that's what she does. And people be running scared. My husband had one aide. And that, I mean, that aide. Now, she was, to me, it was overkill about her being scared. Because it's a cat. I know cats are sneaky. But you got to let them know who the boss is. You know what I'm saying? You can't just let them just walk around and think they the boss. You got to let them know who is who. So she walked around here scared as I don't know what. We was like, dude, you got to do better. Because Miss Kitty, if she know you scared, she going to mess with you just because she know you scared. And that cat gave that girl a run for her money. And I would just laugh because it was funny to me. Because, like, we done already told you what to do. No, I don't want you to abuse my cat, but I want you to let my cat know that she's a cat. Yes, this is my cat's home, but we got to have people that come in here to help us. So, she needs to know who the boss is, and it's not her. This kid said, I am the boss. As long as you let me be the boss, I'm the boss. So... After I had the conversation with the girl, and she still kept letting Miss Kitty do what she do, I didn't say nothing else. I didn't say nothing else. So, that's how that went. <sighs> that's my story time for tonight. I love the color purple. I do. Something about that color. It's royalty, yes. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. So, now I got to go and get some, um, a candle, because I forgot to get a candle the other day. I get a candle and put in here. And I just don't want to put too much on here. I just want them to... Just see this and be like, oh, I like that. You know, ooh, and I like it. I want the, her to be able to say she likes this flower arrangement. So she can look at it every day. And she was like, oh, my son's beautiful wife made me this flower arrangement. My son's beautiful wife. I'm just adding that on there. That's what I hope she said. But around. Uh, if she don't, it's okay, but she will. But this time, I got to remember to take it to her. Because it's Christmas, I forgot to take her stuff to her. I kept saying, remember to put this in a car. Remember, I forgot to take it to her. And did the driver help me to remember? No, absolutely not. Y'all can't see my face while I'm talking, but you got to see my face. I'm over here. Making faces. I need one more flower like that. I just need one more flower. Isn't this pretty, y'all? Y'all can tell me the truth. If you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. But let me tell you, this is scaled down from when I had it the other day. When I had it the other day, this this thing had so much stuff on it. And I looked at it and said, was I, what was I, drinking or something? And I don't, I don't drink. I don't drink, but I will because my husband just bought me that little wine glass. <laughs> No, you can put any kind of beverage in there. Any kind of beverage you want. But it's such a beautiful love cup. It's down there. I'll show y'all tomorrow. Lord, will the creek don't rise. Lord, will the creek don't rise. <sighs> y'all, I do one of two things when I'm tired. I either start singing or I catch an attitude loop. So tonight, I'm singing. I tell you, Mr. Softy be coming around here and be tempting me and waiting until I get upstairs and know I can't run down the steps that fast to go get some. I'm going to have to have a talk with Mr. Softy. 
You need to be coming around here around about 5 o'clock-ish. Because this coming around here this late like this ain't working. Play too much. I'm saying, y'all. That's the softy. He, he play too much. I'm on a lifestyle change anyway, so I can't even have Mr. Softy for real, for real. But I'm venting because... I don't want some this, this off it. That's probably why he come around this late, because the Lord knows I don't need a banana split. But the Lord knows I want the banana split. <sighs> Cynthia, can I have a banana split? Cynthia is my crafting sister, and she and I have embarked well, let's say we're supposed to embark on a weight loss challenge. It's not a challenge, really. It's not a weight loss challenge. It's a lifestyle change. That's really what it is. It's not a, it's not a challenge in any type of way. The only challenge would be is whether I'm going to stick to it or not. <laughs> That's the challenge, babe. That's the only challenge. Because I looked at myself in the mirror the other day and I was so disturbed because I was losing weight. I turned right around and gained it back. And that's why Mr. Softy needs to keep on doing what he's doing and stay where he is and come around the time that he's coming. That way I won't get tempted and run outside and get me a um a Sunday. Because not a Sunday, a banana split. Uh-huh. Victoria, how you doing? Hey, Amanda, my sweet. Love the centerpiece. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm really going to take this downstairs because I literally will forget to take it. And then I will be mad. Because my mother-in-law deserves real flowers. And we probably will get her some real flowers. However, these once the real flowers die, then she won't have anything left. So, we'll give her these, and she'll be able to look at them, and look, look at what my children got me. Look at what my son got me and my daughter. She never calls me her daughter-in-law. She always says my daughter. So, I find that very soothing that my mother-in-law would say that. Because I don't have a mom anymore. My mom passed away nine years ago. And we were so able to, we were able to repair our relationship. We never became like closey, close, close. But we came close enough that she knew when she died that all was well. She knew. She knew. There was no way that she didn't know. Because we cleared it up. And that's what you have to do. You know, you got to be, somebody got to be the bigger person to say, you know what, enough. Let's, let's do this. Somebody got to be the bigger person to say that. Because if you don't, you don't, I, I, I wouldn't want to go to my grave feeling like me and my mom hadn't squashed it or something. I just, I wouldn't want to go to my grave like that. I would go, like to go to my grave happy and knowing that me and my mom repaired our relationship because at the time when my mom had me and she told me the straight up raw truth and she was like are you sure you want to hear what I got to say I was like yep I want to hear it and then when she told me I was like dang I ain't want to hear that but my mom shot at the hip she, she, she didn't pull any punches if you asked her a question and you wanted the answer for real she would give it to you. And she tell you straight up, you're not going to like what I'm going to say. So, it's your choice whether you want to hear it or not. And I wanted to hear it. And she told me, and I sometimes wish I hadn't heard what she said. But she told me the truth. And that's all she could do. It was her truth. And who am I to disregard her truth? That's what she, she was living her life then. That's what she did, so... 
here it is. All it needs is a candle in here and it's done. So we finished with that one. And what I was saying is that you can also use this as a centerpiece. As well. <laughs> Menda, I need some prayer, girl, about these hands, honey. Because we acting like we're losing our mojo over here. But, Menda, we got this big old... Did I show you that? This, I showed y'all that this morning. That big old mold head. <laughs> that head going to use up the whole bottle of epoxy. <laughs> he going to use up the whole bottle of epoxy with that big head. And Rhonda was talking about that Adam's apple. That was the funniest thing when she was talking about the Adam's apple. So, Menda, I did the wig trying one, though. This is the latest. This is the newest one. I got it still has the lace on it, so you really can't see how pretty it is, but look at the detail. Yep. I finally came right before I came on the air. It's curly at the end. It has two colors in it, which I like in the spring and the summer. And then I can put this on to take it off. Put it on to take it off instead of going to the shop getting my hair braided. I'll just wear that. So I'll definitely be alternating between three wigs because the one I had on this morning, which you guys, I love that one too. And that one was only $19. I got it from Amazon. And it's so nice and so fluffy. And it's not heavy. So I actually can wear that and not be worried about it. What in the world? I took a picture. So let's see. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I love it. I really do. Prayers go for you, Deli says. I know you do. You stay safe and be late. Be blessed, creative mom. Oh, I like that one. Looks good on YouTube. Thank you, baby. You got to look at me every day. Every day. This color. Thank you so much. The color. And I like the color because I don't like black. You know what I mean? I don't really like my hair to be black. But, you know, my thing is that Thank you, Menda. My, I'm, I'm going through, you know, I'm going through the fact that I'm happy. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm happy because of, you know, the things that I went through in my life. I'm happy to be alive and about to see my 57th birthday. I'm happy about that. Because in my book, I still don't look 57. I don't know how 57 is supposed to look. But I'm just trying to say that I'm trying to still look young as long as I can. That's what I'm saying. I just want to look young as long as I can. I mean, who am I fooling? I'm 57. We know. We know what they say. You know what they say, black don't crack. Not to offend anybody. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they say, black don't crack. Say, we just in it to win it. <laughs> yes, but if I take this wig off and y'all see the amount of white hair that I got up in here. Y'all be like, since it was a good idea for you to get that wig, it was a good idea because, yeah, because your hair, girl, y'all don't even know, my hair is a mess up underneath this wig. I don't know. I be looking like mm, foo foo. See, the stem on this thing is weird. For those of you all who weren't on this morning, Rhonda was on. Rhonda popped her head in here right quick. She ain't know I was on a she ain't know I was doing the video though when I called her up here. <laughs> I just called her up here. She ain't know. She was happy though. If y'all saw her, y'all could see the expression on her face. She was so happy. She was like, hey, family. That one right there, she be cracking me up. Y'all just don't know. But you see how these go? And you can just do all kinds of things with these. Just It's up to you. Whatever flowers that you have. You know, uh, Dollar Tree right now has such an amazing assortment of flowers right now. That if you don't go get them, they're not going to be there. 
Trust me when I tell you, they're not going to be there. And you really just don't want to miss out on the flowers that they have this year. They're really, really nice. I don't know who does their um, shopping for them, but they're doing pretty darn well. Whoever their shoppers are. Oh, you got some flowers missing, boo? What happened? You need some super grow? All right, hold on. You sit right there because you need a little attention. Aren't you 57 too when your hair falling out? That's what you had said. Yes, I'm talking to the flowers. Mm -hmm. That's what you do when you... When you cook a little, 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 cook a little. So any of the who. So I have a new age, but they can't take Rhonda's place. They gotta, they just can't take Rhonda's place. No ma'am. I'm um, no ma'am. I know it's like, well, now you can use her in your videos. I was like, no, I don't have nothing against her, but that's not the plan. What you talking about? I'm going to be tripping sometimes. Sometimes. See, when you, and when you, what I learned about doing flowers is really like, unless you're a florist, but even florists, they have to, see what they see in their head and sometimes you don't see anything in your head but when you start poking stuff in and you start looking at you be like oh that's nice oh let's continue that flow right there so sometimes that's what you do you just look at something and you just start playing around with it and if it feels right while you're doing it then stay with it because for real for real this is so soothing like to me right now nothing's going on in the world I'm just here chilling with my peeps my blinger peeps and trying to make something look nice there's nothing going on in the world if it is I don't know anything about it because I'm doing this and this makes me feel good So I'm just sitting here and think about how I want the flowers, where I want them positioned and such. So I started off with the purple in the middle. This could just be a purple and white. And this way I don't have to, I don't have to paint the bottom because it's already white. But sometimes when you paint it with paint, it looks a little bit better. It just depends. But if I do paint it, it'll probably be like tomorrow or something. I won't do it. I won't do it tonight. And then you just start, you got the purple in there to take away from some of the white. So, you can just do, you know, let that purple stay in there. And let it be. Now, you notice I didn't, I didn't, I'm not using any glue. I'm not using any glue. Because these flowers can be repurposed. If you, except for if you're giving it to somebody. If you're giving it to somebody, you might want to stick, you might want to um, put some glue in there, you know, to make sure they stay held together. However, if you're just making something and you want to put it around your house or whatever, and you, and you're, you know, you're, you're crafty, you might want to use it again. So it's just easier not to put the glue in it. Heck, if I show this to my mother-in-law, she might like this one even better. I don't know. I'll let my husband choose which one he wants to give her. I'll let him. See how simple that was? I'm trying to tell you, this stuff is easy peasy. And all you got to do is do just that. That's, that was, that's enough. And then you can decorate the, um, if you don't want them to see this part right here, 
You can decorate that with some bling. Mm-hmm. Or if you wanted to put a couple of flowers on there, it depends on which. However, I keep saying that, but y'all already know that. However you want to do it. If you wanted to put flowers down here, you can do that. But you would definitely have to glue those on. Okay? And somebody might say that's overkill. But for somebody else, it might not be overkill. It might be just what they wanted to do. So, it would be you have to be strategic in putting these on here on this part if you wanted to use if you wanted to put it on this part. I think that would be cute it cute to do it that way. But again, everybody has a way that they do things. And for some that might be way too much. And for some it might be like, oh that's just right. So you gotta go with your gut how you feel. See? And that could be enough right there. Just those two. Be like, you know what? That's enough. I'm not putting any more on here. And that would be your front. Be like, okay, so I'm not going to put any more on here. You got to glue these things on here real well. You don't want to embarrass, be embarrassed, and they fall off. So, you see that? And you can leave it just like that if you want to. This would be a cute wedding piece. Uh, 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 oh, where did that just come from? Where did that just come from? Ooh. Y'all, stuff be happening around here. So this could be a nice centerpiece for a wedding table. It could be a nice centerpiece for an anniversary. An anniversary. Uh, see what I mean? Now, how about if I gave that to somebody and it fell off? That would be so embarrassing. Okay, there you go. Or you could take it around. I think I'm going to take it around if I can find... Yep, I got one more rose. Take it around. It looks... I like the way this looks. I really like the way that looks. Yo. I think I need another one. Oh, thank you, Lord. He shall supply your needs. According to his riches and glory. By Christ Jesus. Y'all know the word. Y'all know the word. Okay, let me see what my peeps are saying. Hey, 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 hey. Get it together. See, now I want to act up. Don't do it. Come on, y'all. Here we go. The color is really pretty on you, sis, as well. Thank you, men. That color looks amazing on your skin tone. Thank you. And I really love it, too. That's true, too, sis. That makes two of us couldn't be bothered no more. She looks so happy, too. She did. Why do you keep Wanda away, Lady T? What you mean, why do I keep her away? I don't keep her away. You and Rhonda are partners in crafting and crime. Rhonda, see, my husband, Rhonda works for my husband, so she has to pay attention. He just keep calling. Hate when they do that. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know. I had my phone on Do Not Disturb, so that wasn't even supposed to happen. Oh. Told y'all, every time I get on. But 
but now it seems like when I get on and, and somebody interrupts, now if I just let it sit there, it comes back on. So I don't have to go out and come back in. At least the last few times it's been doing it. So, anyway. So this is this one. I know these ones up here in the top look kind of funny. But this is this one. This, I, this is just an example of what we can do with these candlesticks. These candlestick holders because... If I had enough, enough of them to just have them up here like that, instead of flopping all over the place. But I can work on that. That's just an idea. Just giving you basically some ideas. Um, I do. I know that's a lot of white right there, though. I would really think about putting some other color on there. Because that's a lot of white, honey. But, you know, it's... it's it's up to your everybody's discretion how they want to do it. But I would leave, I probably would leave that like it is. And probably decorate the bottom of it. Because, and, and even this, you don't even have to put this in there. This could just be all white. I just don't have enough white um, roses to put in there. Because that could just be all white up there. That could just be all white roses instead of having that purple sticking up. But if you wanted to have a different, you know, color scheme then you can put those purple ones on there or just keep it white all the way around bam it's just white it's just white there's nothing wrong with a white bouquet look at that that was so simple to fix right so it's white it's just white somebody might say uh-uh oh no that's too much white probably is for some people and probably isn't for others Look, here's another white one that manifested. <laughs> I said it manifested. So, yes. So, those are the two centerpieces. I really like this one because this one speaks of, of like a wedding. This could be a wedding centerpiece right there. That could be a wedding centerpiece. Yep, and you can fix all of the tables. You could do them in different colors, you know. I probably would do them in different colors because that's a bit, uh, that's a lot of white right there. So I probably would do that. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Minda. Hey, Minda, I don't even know how to do the thing where you do the, um, where you do the, uh, what you call it, the moderator? Because I was going to get my husband to be the moderator, and I still don't know how to do it yet. But I would like to put you and him on as moderators because I don't be, I, sometimes I'm not reading the comments. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I'll always get to the comments. But I am now. So, we could play with this all night long and just do however you want to do. I just think it's cute. But I do think the white one needs some other kind of embellishment. Because all that white right there, that's a lot. But anyway, so now I'm finished with this. I think I need to wash this and put this on. It's a little itchy. It's a little itchy. But, mm-hmm. Let me pull this up because y'all need to be seeing my little fat stomach. So, um, email Beverly and she'll let you know how because it has to come from your side. I know it has to come from my side. I just gotta, I actually gotta just read the stuff to show me how to do it. So, I might do that tonight, but if I don't get any revolution, resolution, I will email Miss Beverly and let her know and ask her, you know, what's up, how you do this, because I don't be you knowing how to do some things. And I have, you know, as a person who's written three books, I have three books published and I, I just don't like to write. I used to like to write, but I don't like to write anymore. Because when I try to write, my handwriting doesn't look good to me anymore. But it doesn't matter, right? Because the book is going to be typed. But I just don't like writing anymore. So that's the bottom line. So, do you all look at um, um, Dazzling Designs by Denise? Um... Thank you, babe. I believe you. Thank you so much, sis. Um, Dazzling Designs by Denise came out with this beautiful... I'm going to figure out how to tag her in one of my videos. She came up with this vase. I'm trying to tell you. Some people say vase. Some people say vase. She came up with this beautiful glass vase. And everything she used, I have in here right now. 
everything she used I have in here right now. So I'm I think in my next video I'm going to try to recreate that vase. I already told her on her page I'm doing that. I'm doing that vase. I'm doing that vase. I have a little idea for a little variation so it won't be exactly like hers. But honey, when I tell you that thing was fabulous. I had to tell my friend Cynthia. I was like, Cynthia, you got to see this. So now she's going to make one too. Um, She might have already made hers. I didn't even talk to her today. She might have already made hers. But when I tell you this thing, she used 13 mirrors because she used three mirrors on all sides and then she the bottom piece is a mirror. And she put these um, square things. You, you know the square things that I used to make my door? The little funny shape thing that I was making my doors for my, my um, shelves. So she she um, she used those and put them on. So she used 13 because she put three on each mirror. I mean three on each side. No, 12. She used 12 of those and she used 13 mirrors. And honey, when I tell you when I first saw that, I was like, that's it. I'm recreating that vase. I don't care. I'm doing that. And so, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Because I really love that vase. That vase was, like, spot on. And I showed it to my husband, and he liked it, too. So, we could put it in the living room on either side of the television. So, that's what I plan on doing with that. When I tell you that thing was nice. Oh, man. So, when I do it, I already informed her that I would be doing it. And, um, she don't care. She don't care. And I'm, you know, I make sure that I put down there that I got this from Dazzling Designs by Denise. Yada, yada, yada. Because I'm, I'm not going to take somebody's stuff and not mention their name. I did that before and realized I was wrong. So, I have learned my lesson not to use other, not to recreate somebody else's stuff without giving them credit. Even though you see people on the internet and you might see something similar to that, you want to give the person credit who you really got it from. And if I make something, if I, I've seen several people do it, I'll just say I looked at several people on the internet. And sometimes I really forget who I watch, but lately I have been doing my own stuff, so I haven't been able to recreate anything. Uh, Will's DIY just came out with something, so I'm going to watch him before I go to bed too. Um, but it's just, you know, everybody got to do what they got to do. And if you recreate something from somebody, just say I recreated this from whomever. So if they happen to run across your stuff, they'll know that you gave them credit. But if you give them credit, they'll see it. If you put it in a hashtag, put their name in it, they'll be able to see it. So that's a very good practice to do when you're recreating something from somebody else to let them know that you're doing it. Not only is it... Um, respectful but it'll make that person feel good to know that you were actually recreating their stuff it'll make them feel good to know wow i did that good enough so somebody wants to you know do what i did yeah yeah so if i don't do that tomorrow i'm gonna do that big head man that i i'm almost afraid to do that y'all because i didn't know it was that big that head it <laughs> this head is ginormous I ain't never seen no bowl this big. Look how big this thing is. As fat as my face is, this covered my whole entire face. That's what you call ridiculous. I just don't know how much epoxy this, this man gonna use. He gonna use a lot. I don't know, y'all. He might need to sit in the background. I'll figure it out. I ain't doing it tonight. I'm not going to do it tonight, though. And this is the other one. Look, look at the difference. Look how little this one is. And I got this from Etsy. This took me a long time to get. See the little grooves in there? That's her, her, her bonnet, her head bonnet, or whatever you call it. Her head covering. And you can put mica powder on there. 
different colors or jazz it up and her little earring. So this is the 9th, June the 12th, and it was another, it was another show. I can't remember what that date was, but, oh no, it was supposed to be, excuse me, it was supposed to be on the 8th of, um, May the 8th, but they canceled it. So, I won't be going to that one. That's good, though, because that's too close to Mother's Day, which, I don't know, it could be good, though, because it's Mother's Day, you could be selling some stuff out there for Mother's Day, but it's just too close, because we, you know, we got stuff to do, so we'll be doing what we do. So, these, these other flowers that I have now, I'll be using them for something else. Because it's a lot of them. It's a nice make centerpieces or whatever. So what y'all want to see me do next? This wig is cute though, huh? Look at the curls. I like. I'm gonna wash it though because it's kind of itchy. So what would y'all like to see me do? Y'all want to see me do the, daz the, the Dazzling Designs by Denise face? Because I have a little different variation of that that I want to do. Y'all can tell me. And then when I go to the doctor to check out this eye because it's really getting worse. Um, I'll let y'all see what they say. But we know God is a healer. And he'll heal it in his time. But I also know that he uses doctors to help us too. So I want to see what's going on with that. So if y'all not going to tell me what y'all want me to see me do next. I'm about to get off of here. Because it is hot in here. And I'm going to go in my room. And my cat's going to come in here and take possession of my chair again. And if the Lord says the same, we'll start the journey again tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. Because I go to work, I gotta run out tomorrow morning. And then rest a little. And I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do that vase. <sighs> Excuse me. That vase, vase, however you wanna say it, that's gonna get done. Because that thing that she did, that thing. And she used it, she put uh, flowers in hers. She put flowers in hers. And now's a good time to put flowers in there. You know, you could actually put a shelf with inside of that thing and put a house plant in there. And um, but you want to put it in something that you want to put a, a square thing in there just to give it height, to give it some height and um watch it grow from there. Cause you could let me tell you something. House plants grow really fast, but I know cats like to mess with plants, so that's really one reason why I haven't gotten a plant yet. Because plants, cats like to tear up your plants, and then my cat will have to go on a little vacation. She will have, I will have to just let her go on vacation. But let me tell you, she she funny though because ever since she ran away and came back out, she she tried to do it the other day. She tried to go out the other day when my husband was going out. My husband was going out. We had to do something right quick and she saw the opportunity she saw the opportunity to go out and she didn't she didn't see me standing behind her and I didn't know she was in there trying to sneak out but I caught her I caught the little heifer did I call her a heifer I sure did I caught her red-handed, inching her way over to the door. And I told her, go out there if you want. And sometimes we do that. We see an opportunity and we inch toward it and inch toward it and inch toward it. I was listening to somebody, it was today or yesterday, and they were saying how in the Garden of Eden, um, Eve took a bite of that apple. She didn't have to eat the whole apple. She just took a bite of it. The Bible says she bit into that thing. She ate that apple. 
But all it took was that first bite. All it took was that first bite and she was out of the will of God. All it took was that she didn't even have to eat the whole apple. All it took was that first bite for her to be out of the will of God. She heard exactly what God said. Adam knew what God said. And he didn't say, woman, don't eat that. He just stood idly by. And that's why men today, they be like, women not supposed to preach in the church. Well, you know, the Bible says the woman's supposed to keep silence in the church and all of that. But that's one of the reasons they use for women not to talk in the church is because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. That the man just stood there and he didn't say anything. He just let her partake of the fruit. But I guess when Adam said, well, God said it to me, don't eat of it. He must have only been talking to Adam. He was talking to both of them. They were now one. So he was talking, oops, he was talking to both of them. He said, out of all of the trees in this garden, you can eat. But the tree of, uh, what was it? The tree of, um, Come on, memory. Don't play with me now. The tree, the fruit tree of good and evil. The knowledge of good and evil. He said, don't touch it. At least you die. And Satan said, did he really say that? Did he really say that? And that's the doubt that he put in Eve's mind towards God. Did he really say that? And then Eve said something and added to what God said. Eve said, he said, don't eat it nor touch it. He didn't say that. He said, don't eat it. But now that Eve said, don't eat it or touch it, that made it seem like God was being cruel. You can't even touch it. Well, you got to touch it to eat it. And that's how it be sometimes. God say no when we say, yeah, but I want to I, I wanna do it anyway because it looked good. It looked, that dang old fruit looked good. It looked tasty. It was good for the body. It was, it was, it was looking delicious. So because it was looking so delicious, uh-oh, why is it spinning? Am I spinning, y'all? Am I spinning? Can y'all see me or hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you guys, I mean, not a thumbs up. Can you put it in the chat room if you can hear me? Know what? Yes, what? Oh, because I'm looking on my computer. My computer is spinning. I thought maybe I was spinning too. But anywho, so like I was saying, sometimes God will tell us something and we think, feel like God is being unfair. And because we feel like God is being unfair, we just going to do what we want to do anyway because God couldn't possibly understand. God couldn't possibly care because he's telling me that I can't do X, Y, Z. And he knows that's what I want to do. So he can't possibly care about me. He don't really love me. Because if he did, he wouldn't be making me, he wouldn't not let me have what I want to have. So, you know, sometimes the enemy puts things in our minds and try to make us believe stuff that's not true. And 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 he already knows we have a desire for certain things. So you're going to make that thing look as good as possible. And then what? Now you stuck with the consequences after he done tempted you. And that's why it says, yield not to temptation. That's why the Bible says, um, there have no temptation giving you as as, as, uh, as uncommon to man but God is faithful who um, with the temptation will make a way of escape that you'll be able to bear it but see we got to be in him we got to be in God we got to have that ear and a lot of times we have the ear we hear what God is saying and we still want to do what we want to do we still do what we want to do but that's human nature and God knows that he knows he said I, I made you I know I know how you are but still, we have a free will to do whatever we want to do. God is not, he is not, uh, 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 how do you say it? He's not 
a, a dictator. He presents to us what he wants us to know and what he wants us to do is up to us to follow it. It just is. So, you know, sometimes we just got to put on our big girl shoes, our big girl panties and say, you know what, God said I can't have it right now, so I just don't, I must not need it right now. I must not need it right now. So, those are the kind of things that we have to look at when it comes to God and hearing God. Just like, you know, what our business, if we have a business or whatever, we got to do what God wants us to do. We got to be consistent. And y'all know, consistency is not one of my strong traits. It's not one of my strong traits. But I'm confessing, um, my husband said, God stands at the door and knocks. He does. He does. And waits patiently for us. And sometimes some of us, we just don't, we don't want to be bothered with what God says because we want to live life, we want to do life, we want to just have fun, especially after this pandemic. After this pandemic, boy, everybody want to do what everybody want to do. But at the end of the day, we got to answer to God and we got to answer to God for ourselves. So that is the bottom line because we all going to have to stand before him one day. One day, we're going to all have to stand before him. And we're be like, oh, it be too late then. It's too late now. You should have done what you were supposed to do with. It's too late. So, anyway, so I'm done. You guys, y'all didn't tell me what y'all want me to make next time. So, I'm going to make the, um, the thing from Denise. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be, it's going to turn out. It's going to turn out nice. What is this? Something is stuck in my cricket. What is that? I'm going to have to turn this thing upside down. I don't know what that is. But, um, y'all know God is good all the time. And all he wants us is the fellowship with him and be mindful that he is God. To love him, respect him, honor him, obey him, and it'll all be cool. You know what I mean to me? Uh, ready? <laughs> he will abide. Yep, we gotta abide in him. And he will abide in us. And that is the bottom line. Y'all, because people are dying. So many, we done lost two people that we know personally within, what, a week, two weeks of each other passing away? And the guy that we knew, he passed away, then his mother turned around and passed away. Within a week, she died within a week after he died. His mom. I didn't know her. But the guy that died three days ago, we knew him. He used to come to my program when I was doing I went. He used to come to my program all the time. He would come to my husband's program. We hadn't seen him for a while, but I didn't think anything of it. And found out today that he passed away. So people are leaving this earth with a quickness. It just seems like people are just dying, dying, dying. That's why we got to be straight with God before we leave this earth. We got to make sure that we're straight with God. We got to make sure that we're doing right, we're living right, we're being right, we're treating others right. We got to make sure that we do that. Even in the climate of the world that things are going on now we still got to make sure that we're living right and we're doing right because when we leave here the only person we can answer for is us i can't answer for my husband he can't answer for me i don't care how long we've been married we can't answer for each other we got to answer to god separately separately but if we live right and we do right we don't have nothing to worry about when we leave here we don't have nothing to worry about because we already know that when God calls us to stand before him, we'll be able to stand with him. We won't have to shriek back. We won't have to shrink back, you know, and, and be like, mm, I don't want to see God. I don't want to see him because I know how I was living. No, we don't want to live. We don't want to do that when we go stand before God. We want to stand in confidence, knowing that he's going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on in. Come on in. You've been faithful over a few things, and I'm going to make you rule over many. So, we just examine ourselves daily to make sure that we're living right. We just got to do that. We just got to do that. And not take anything for granted. Because it could be thought, word, or deed. 
we have thoughts sometimes and we me we keep meditating on those thoughts, they come to pass. Words, sometimes we say things we're not supposed to say. Deeds, sometimes we do things that we're not supposed to do. We just want to make sure that when we leave here that we be able to stand before God and not shrink back. Be like, I don't want to see you, God, no. No, we don't want that. What's the point? Doing all of that. We if we live right. When somebody saw it's a song it's like, if I live right heaven belongs to me that was in the color purple that was in the color purple too I love that movie I can look at it now without crying there was a point in my life I couldn't even look at the color purple without crying but I can look at it now I can look at it now when I have to worry about it so peace y'all we're gonna come back tomorrow what else I was gonna do I said I was gonna do those mirrors and I'm going to do that big head. That big head. I don't know. It might take me a couple of days to do that big head. I got to think about that. I got to make sure I have enough epoxy. That sucker look like he's going to use the whole. <laughs> he look like he's going to use the whole bottle of epoxy. That's not even funny. I love that you always share the things of God. I got to run. Me too. Good night all and abundant blessings. Abundant blessings to you too, Manda. I'm getting out of here because you know if I start talking, we might be here for a little while longer. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. We've been on here since 7.30. It's time to go anyway. It's time to go anyway. Good night, everybody. The Scots love you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for participating. But we are out. And if the Lord says the same, we'll be back with you all tomorrow evening at 6.30. No tell her what my hair, what hair we're going to be wearing. <laughs> what hair we're going to be doing, y'all. We don't know. We don't know. We're not doing this one, though. This ain't cut off of it. But anyway... Um, so yeah, that's it. Have a great night. God bless you. Let us all keep each other in prayer and peace.